Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is a look inside review of the Spectrum Hands-On Math Kindergarten Curriculum. There's um, lots of different manipulatives in here and there's also um, a dry erase pen to do some of the activities in the book. This is just a really quick review of a little flip through because I know sometimes it's really hard to see inside the books before you purchase them online and I'll have a link in the description down below of where you can purchase it. I believe it was $14.99 on Amazon. So first and foremost, I love right here, you open it up, it has all the numbers. My kindergartner has still a lot of trouble counting to 100. Like sometimes like when he gets around 70, he says the same numbers over and over again. And just to help him see the way that the numbers are faced so he can do a work, a, a problem in here and then go back into here and make sure that three is the right way. And you know, counting by tens fives all that kind of stuff in there okay so we're just snowy. gonna it's super snowy outside i made a blanket for it under the table okay so first there's a table of contents i'm not gonna go completely through it but you can pause the video i'm pretty sure you can see what's in there pretty well there's counting it goes through counting the first 23 pages then there's addition and subtraction in 10 from page 25 to 47 it shows it on here okay and then we have place value pages 49 to 51 measurement and data is 53 to 61 geometry we have 63 to 85 then we have an answer key and then in the back of that is the hands on ma manipulatives there's a quick introduction, features a spectrum hands-on math in every lesson, so it goes into detail about that. The introduction continued, additional features, um, there's a dry erase pen, a closer look, um, method. so it's just telling you about the new methods, because I'm sure the methods have changed since us parents were in school. Hang on one minute, I'm sorry, my kid. I can't really film without the kids in the background. That's like never gonna happen. <laughs> There's um one to one, hands on how tos. Okay, I'm not gonna go through the whole book, but then again, here this is again. There's different types of lessons in here, and it tells you what manipulatives you need that are in the back. I'll show you that really quick, actually. There's a bunch of manipulatives. So there's the end of the answer key. So there's counters you need for some, goose cutouts, count, blue counters, fish cutouts, tally marks, flowers, butterflies, tens and ones, number cards, frog hoppers, rabbit hoppers, animal cutouts, shapes. Telegrams, apple counters, a cone, more number cards, cube, cylinder. And these are like really thick cardstock paper. It's not like the regular paper in the front of the book that's paper thin. It's nice, good cardstock. Um, there's a little bag right here to put your manipulatives in. Okay, the um, dry erase marker is in here. My kids ended up pulling this. I think it was actually supposed to stay connected, but I need to tie it again. So then here are some of the dry erase things. So you use the dry erase marker to do this. Like in one of the problems when I was skimming through before I did this review, it says to like color however many happy faces. And then I guess it's like an addition problem. There's the 10 block chart, um, the number line, some 10 block circles, a notepad, and then this plus this or minus equals whatever number, some shapes, and then I guess that's like a graph. Okay, let's see what's the back. And then there's the back of the book. Um, I can go back really quick and show you an example of how you would use. Okay, look, 
draw mustaches on four dry erase smiley faces then draw hats on four how many in all so then you would go back here like i was saying to the happy face graph and you would do what it tells you and then you're going to add then there's a number line which is back here um let's see if i can find the hopper there's a bunny hopper and there's the ma manipulative back here for it each lesson has different things so it's very very hands-on my child um just sitting there in the math book we had, we had an Evan Moore math book, and I love Evan Moore. I use it for him and my first grader. But for math, it wasn't hands-on enough. I had some counter bears and base 10 blocks, but it really wasn't enough. So I was trying to find something that was completely hands-on, different types of pictures and you know manipulative so he doesn't get bored. And I think this is perfect. I haven't used it yet, but I, I think this is gonna work so much better. There's a lot of addition, subtraction. It's very, very detailed. Like I said, there's an answer key in the back just in case you're not understanding something. But I feel like he will not get bored. And I feel like I can do that, go through this book a couple of times and I think he will love it. Okay, so that's the end of my review. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I'll have the link in the description. Thanks, guys.